Whoa, okay. Wow, it's been like a really long time since I have made a YouTube video, a vlog. I have a reason for that. It's called college, where you kind of get a life or something. Now that I kind of had a life, I mean, I'm on holidays now, so I don't have that much of a life, I can vlog again. So today I wanted to make more of a serious kind of video, you know, not just like ranting about some stupid stuff like prom or anything. <laughs> Let me tell you about my journey uh, into college. So basically when I applied to college, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to be a photographer. I knew what I wanted to do, but I knew I wasn't ready because for me time was just so overwhelming. Like I couldn't completely fathom how much time has been going by. I was like, holy crap, I'm 17 years old. Like, at the time. And, oh my god, I'm in grade 12? What? Like, I feel like because I didn't have much of a childhood and because I didn't have, like, friends as a child, that, like, high school was, like, my only place where I had friends for the first time. Like, I just kind of wanted to bask a bit in my youth a bit more before, you know, getting shipped off into adult world. And obviously, I'm not ready for that. Time went by and I was still, I'm, I was really enjoying myself personally in high school with all my friends and like I was getting really close to some people but I knew, I just knew I wasn't ready to go to college. I just wasn't. I'm not. I'm still not. I'm in college and I'm not ready to be there. I'm not. I'm not mentally ready. I'm not emotionally ready. I'm not rational enough to be in college at the moment. Towards the end of the summer, I tried to figure out all my things, you know? I tried to fix things with some of my close friends, I tried to fix things with my parents. That stuff, you can't just have a deadline for it and be good and have a clean slate into college, no. Like, so much stuff takes so much time, so in college isn't gonna fix that for you. Just because you're busy doing work, you think that's gonna make it all better? Uh, no. It's like, you need to sort out your crap first, you know? And being ready, depending on where you go, because if you go in a place where you're staying home, it might not be as bad. But if you're like me, where I move to another city for where I stay like for five days, I go home for the weekend and go back in five days, yeah. Um, you know, you gotta be ready for that. Like, you need to be able to take care of yourself. And depending who you are and how you are mentally depends how well you can take care of yourself. I mean, for the, like the last three months, I honestly think I've gone like, into like a sadness, like a, like I'm in a funk right now. I was in a funk. I'm in a, I'm in a new funk, which I will not talk about, but I, <laughs> I was in a funk for a while. And like, you know, it's just, some days it was hard to put on your socks in the morning. Sometimes it was hard to go do the dishes and make meals. It was hard to eat. It's hard to get out of your bed. Like, uh, there, I can't even tell you how many times like I slept in because I'm just like, I can't, I can't get out, I, I can't take the day, I can't do it all on my own, you know, I still need people to tell me to do things, because I'm not ready, and the fact that I acknowledge all this does not mean I'm ready, I know that I still need help. What I'm saying for other people is that if you can not take care of yourself on your own, probably should not be going to college. I guess is what I'm saying. Especially if you're moving out. If you can't take care of yourself, if you can't eat healthy, if you can't sleep properly, if you mess up everything, you're, you're just not ready for it, you know? There's just, there is a lot of responsibility that goes into college, and I know I'm not ready for that. I really do. I'm still not ready. Like, I think I might finish the year out. I really, really actually want to drop out after first year. I really do. I'm having like a crisis here. You know, I'm having second doubts if photography is actually what I want to do with my life. I mean, I just thought, oh, I'm good at it, so I should go into it, but just because I'm good at it doesn't mean it's something I want to work for, you know? Like, what if I work at it and then start to hate it because it's work? I don't want to hate photography. Photography is art. Photography is beautiful. And I don't want to hate it, so I don't know if I want it as a job. But on the other hand, what other job choices do I have? I have nothing. I have arts talent. That's all I have. I have no work experience at all. I've never had a job, ever, because I only do photography and I only volunteer doing things <laughs> related to photography. So my advice to you, if you know what you're doing, apply. If you get accepted and feel worrisome and have doubts, talk to a parent, talk to a counselor, talk to someone about it, and 
Siri can go from there. Unfortunately, I have a mother who pushed me into college, and I wanted to take a fifth year, but my mother wouldn't let me because she thinks it would ruin my life. Because she was like, oh, look at your dad. He took like six years off of high school. Six compared to one mother. Six years compared to one. She's like, oh, well, uh, you know, if you take like a year off, you're going to become lazy. And I'm like, excuse me? I would get a job. I would look for, I would have been looking for a job through grade 12 if I wasn't going to college. I would have looked for a job. I would be building my portfolio. Maybe I would be a fifth year at school. I don't know what courses I would take, but maybe I would be a fifth year at school. I had a plan, you know, that would suit me, make me ready. Because I think self-discovery is so important for human development. It just is. You need to know who you are, what you're comfortable with, what you're ready for in life. You can't be thrown out there into the world and just expect it to work. You're not, you're not a robot. You're not, you're not a... You're not a camera. You can't just, I can't just turn, turn something on and just be like, it works like that. No, I'm a human being. I need to learn to adapt. And it takes time. And I wasn't given time. And I wish I took time. So if you are thinking of taking a fifth year, I tell you, please do it. Go find yourself. I don't care what it is. Find who you are, what you're comfortable with, what you want in life. Because if you're stuck like me, and you're in college, and you're miserable, it sucks. So if, if you're not ready, don't go. Just because your parents tell you to. I mean, it's kind of hard because they're probably paying, but I urge you to change their minds. And don't learn from my mistakes. Change their minds if you're not ready do it. Like, like I have a friend who's like almost 20 and she's still in high school because like she was an immigrant. So like age change and everything. So and, and she, she's like, yeah, I took a fifth year cause I'm not ready. And she's nearly 20. I was 17 when I went into college. When you're 17, like you're still learning about how friendships work, how relationships work. You're learning how trust works. And I have major trust problems because I was always screwed over as a kid. So I'm just learning how to trust people. And because of some certain things nowadays that are happening, I'm starting to turn back around and be a non-trusting person. So that's my college experience. Leave a comment. <laughs> so um, on a brighter note, uh, look at this sweater I got from the thrift store. I look like a no TV signal. I think I might do a photo shoot with this sweater. And yes, I am wearing pajama pants. And look, it's from... Douglas Copeland, he's a artist, writer, person. I saw this at the thrift store and was all like, yo, that's really, really cool, man. And for Christmas, I asked my parents to not get me anything. I was like, I'm giving them a break. Huh? Because I'm giving them... Uh, yeah. Just because, you know, they, they're paying so much for my tuition. They pay for, like, gas for driving me every time. They pay for, like, some of my food and they give me like some allowance and stuff and I'm just like you guys are doing so much for me you don't have to get me anything although they did get me some under eye cream because I have really bad dark circles and um it cost a lot so I'm just like sure it's literally like a tube this big but it costs a lot so okay thanks parents yeah so I hope you guys are doing well I hope you guys choose the right thing to do in life don't screw up like me Sorry, my mom was just yelling. Not at me, she's like talking to my brother. Okay, but yeah, sorry if I don't make a video within the next, you know, couple of months, just cause, you know, more stress, more self-loathing. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hope everyone else is doing better than I am. Uh, so have a good day, week, month, year. Happy New Year, happy 2012, Merry Christmas, Hansa, or whatever the fuck you celebrate, okay? Yep, yeah. uh, my hair is dry now, so I'm gonna go draw on my tablet. By the way, I started learning how to draw on a tablet. You guys should check out some of my artwork and my DeviantArt down there in the doobly-doo. Okay, thanks. Goodbye.